back up, donut. What is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel this video is going to be really interesting because you know this is kind of the stuff that people don't really talk about when it comes to taking hormones i really want to almost shed a light on the darker side of taking hormones what it's really like and just the things that can kind of go wrong a better path to getting back on my hormones and having everything on the right levels and everything but i really want to talk to you guys about things that can go wrong i have like notes because i want to make sure i talk about everything the number one issue that i found with taking hormones was insurance the insurance companies i don't know what it is but like i was taking pills i was taking spironolactone i was taking progesterone and i was taking estrogen estrogen at the time um Everything was pill form. It was just different times where I wasn't able to get my moans or I was being charged this time or I had to switch pharmacies or my insurance wasn't covering this or my insurance wasn't covering that. And it was just always something when it came to my moans. Like if you, like I'll literally talk to my friends, I'll be like, oh my God, my insurance is doing this again. They won't like take my um, insurance. It, won't, it doesn't cover it all of a sudden, but it'll be like periods where my insurance covers it. My insurance covers everything. I'll get everything for free. But then randomly I had to switch pharmacies and then the pharmacy wasn't covering it or my insurance wasn't covering it. Then it was issues with my primary insurance and then my secondary insurance wouldn't kick in because of my primary and it was like they won't take both. And I'm just like, what is going on? At the start of my transition, I always had both of these insurances. I always had my primary, I always had my secondary and it was never a point where they said, oh, they won't take it or they can't take it until... I switched pharmacies and they, after a while, they were saying they can't process my orders and this and that I had to pay or it wasn't covering it. And it was just like, what is going on? I even had friends that would say, because they were taking the injectable estrogen. I always took, I always take my estrogen in pill form. Like I'm just, I'm not really an injectable girl. I am a pill girl, but like, if I could do a little what's the name, I could do my little what's the name, okay? My friends weren't able to get their needles sometimes and it was just always something. Somebody wasn't able to get this, somebody wasn't able to get that. Like it was always something with some insurance. I'm sure lots of girls have issues when it comes to taking their estrogen or their hormones period there came a point where at least a couple years into my transition i switched over to a different blocker which was lupron i think it was the last it was i posted a video of me actually taking that medication i do feel like it was working really well for me um at the time um but my issue was the insurance stopped covering it there was points where it was like, oh yeah, we still see your insurance on file, but there is a $150 copay. Who's paying that? Who's paying $150 each time randomly when this pharmacy already was covering it? In the midst of me not knowing what would happen if I didn't take my blocker, I just didn't take it. I don't know. I just couldn't afford it every time. This is too much money just to block some to the bathroom but i also didn't know what would happen there are changes that happen in your body when you transition and i didn't know what happened if i just stopped taking my blocker but i found out the last time i took that blocker was the video i posted right which is almost a year old fast forward to like my birthday in november I had a quick weave in. It's literally the last video I posted on this channel. It took me a long time to post because girls were going to do a lot. Like I literally was taking my quick weave out and I just like felt like my hair wasn't the same quality. Like my real hair wasn't the same quality. Like I felt like the quick weave was like coming out but so was my hair with it. And I was like, but I don't feel no pain. Like it doesn't feel like anything is pulling. Like I literally was wetting the quick weave and like literally sliding it out and felt like my hair was just easily breaking or snapping with it. And I was like, oh girl, no. I literally took my hair out, washed it, blow dried it. And like, I just noticed that my hair was shedding a lot more and it was just easier to break. And it just felt really weak and brittle. So over that period of time, I was 
washing my hair, um, doing deep conditioner, I mean, doing deep conditioning treatments. I was doing protein treatments. I was just doing a lot to try and save my hair. I even cut my hair into a shorter bob. I did like a collarbone bob the last time I cut my hair. Well, the last time before this, last time I cut my hair, I did a pro, I did a, um, bob. And it was just like, okay, I thought I was getting back on track with, um, my hair. But I did a install with no baby hairs and when i took that down i noticed that my hair was easily rubbing out with my wigs which had never happened to me before um uh, my hair literally rubbed out like a whole cornrow like a whole cornrow pretty much like the beginning section of it rubbed out literally here and i was just like oh hell no so i kept cutting my hair okay let me just oil my scalp do us whatever i was trying to wean myself off of having to take so much medication for like just like so many things like injecting so many things into my body not have to take my blocker or my um eggs on medication as much either so i was slowly just not taking it but there is like something i don't know if y'all know but it's like a phantom itch child that itch baby those black girls no pain like that scalp under a wig under a weave under a weave period just be so <sighs> aggravating it's like you can scratch it as much as you want or but that scratches don't go away it's so annoying i would wash my hair and like the next day my scalp would be itchy after i got my braids and i'm like what is going on i don't know if that's because of my eczema being what it is people who have eczema know like if i feel an itch i feel something here i feel it here i feel it here i feel it there i feel like all over my body and it just doesn't stop like you almost have to forget about it or distract yourself sometimes and that's the worst part it was a combination of my hair just feeling more weaker and brittle and my eczema in my scalp not taking my medication because i would never had a scratch like that before it was just baby it was crazy like i was digging in my scalp digging in my scalp digging in my scalp digging in my scalp worse than when i actually had a weave i was digging in my scalp so bad so i don't know if it was the friction of my wig that was making my hair break off or rub out the way that it was or i don't know if it was just the daily like rubbing like you go to sleep lay down put your head here like you know just the daily living of it like i just kept having a lot of shedding a lot of shedding a lot of shedding the last time before i put this wig on i had so much shedding like it was like i could comb clumps out of my hair like it was like chill i can't do this anymore because that was oz for me that was really oz i cut my hair even shorter like my hair is barely this long right now since i am back on my hormones my hair issues will be fine just because when i first started taking moans my hair like doubled if not tripled on moans i don't feel like it's affecting me as much like if i was only wearing my real hair i feel like it would just hinder me so much where i would feel so much worse about that but being that i take estrogen now and i'm taking my blocker and i'm i, I everything is back on schedule i'm just not really worried about it because i do wear wigs I can still camouflage the look of the shedding. Um, I don't really know how long it's going to take for my body to get back on track or my estrogen and my blocker to work. You know, I don't know how long that's going to take. But I am starting to do more things to kind of save my hair until, like, you know, it grows back the way I want it to. But I am going to keep her at a shorter length until it's time. But yeah, that's the hair. The next thing I've noticed was I was getting acne on my chest. Now, I was also getting hair. Mind you, I had gotten laser. When I got laser, I got laser from here down and also on my chest. My hair started to grow back. It grew back in a way where I was like, okay, this isn't just the hair needing to get zapped again. This is like, okay, the body is doing something like... I noticed that things just started to happen the way I didn't want them. I got laser again. I'm actually going to go for laser pretty soon. So I got one laser session, which did a world of difference. I felt like I was just getting hairs here, like here again. Like it was just at this point in my laser journey, I am getting zapped maybe every 
other month or every two months just because I don't really need to do it anymore as much because my major thing was discoloration or razor bumps and I don't have those anymore. I just mostly have the residual hairs from not taking my blocker for so long, which is, you know, understandable. I'm not really listening, but I'm just getting back on track for everything. So I'm not really too pissed at myself. Like, what can I say? What can I do? It was just, I couldn't afford the blocker. I can't. <laughs> I was using an antibacterial soap, which was really good for it. Like, uh, like y'all can't see it now, but like you can see like little remnants of little dots. But, you know, I put some makeup on it, so we're not really gonna do too much. We're not gonna do too much because like, don't look too hard. Back up, back up, donut. I was getting rid of it, got laser. The laser helped me tremendously. Like my chest literally looks so clear, so clean without having to get laser or without having to, you know, for a long time. So I guess like the little hairs were killed and like it was just the testosterone making me a boy. Things were reversing anyway. Things were reversing. I might be dragging this next one, but I have a pretty angular face. Um, I'm not saying the moans just took the fat out of my face, but I feel like especially this side of my face just looks a little bit more than like normal. Like I might, I really, I really might be dragging that one, but I just would notice like, oh, if I turn this way, I'm like looking at myself, I'm like, okay, she's a little strong now. She look, she look back to normal. She looks too much back to normal. This side of my face is a little bit fuller, so we're not gonna do so much on her. I was noticing that this side of my face, my lower jaw was just looking a little bit more pronounced and I wasn't a fan of that. So I don't know how long it's gonna take for if, or if it's gonna go back to normal, but I did lose a little bit of weight. I've noticed that on moans, it's really, 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 that way you wanna stick, baby. That way you wants to stick. Off of moans, I lost like three pounds and I didn't even notice. She lost a little bit of weight. So I think I lost a little bit in my face. That's why I like on my journey, like I'm a little nervous to lose weight because I don't wanna lose weight in my face because I feel like my face is, she need a little bit of, she need a little bit of something in her. To get it, what's the name? To give her that, what's the name? Like, you know what I mean? Like, she need a little bit of weight. Like, look, if I'm looking at... <laughs> but she needs a little bit of weight to just give you the gra. I do feel like there's enough weight in my face to give the gra. It's just, the moans just... <laughs> I need you to do me in a little bit. Another thing that I realized is my skin was the best it's ever been off of moans like in that time period i found like a better kind of like routine or skincare routine for my skin which is i started double cleansing i started adding like other like products to my skincare routine but with all of that being said and done i noticed that my skin just has more texture in this area than i ever had before like i have like a little bit of acne and i'm not an acne girl like I have like a couple pimples and I'm just like, this ain't me. Cause the skin be impeccable. <laughs> Regardless of whatever, like I just started noticing that the skin wasn't skinning like how the skin used to skin before. Definitely a result of the testosterone coming back. Definitely upping my water intake, definitely upping my skincare routine, staying on top of things, taking my estrogen and my blocker on time as instructed. I'm gonna see how this blocker does me in, but you know, I'm just really trying to stay on top of things. The girls be taking like breaks on moans just so that they, they little friend downstairs can um do their little what's the name. And I noticed, maybe it's because I've been on moans as long as I have been, but she ain't come back full throttle like she's still like on vacation she didn't really come back the way i thought she was gonna come back after like eight months maybe plus but <sighs> i wasn't hoping for her to come back but i just wanted a little what's the name uh, <laughs> i just wanted a little like she was still a part of the you know clear coat family so i don't know if 
or how long it takes. Maybe you need to be off of moans as long as you were on moans for your body to completely reset or go back, like literally to completely reset. So I don't know what the dealio with that one. Um, maybe someone can fill me in, let me know. But yeah, that's literally everything that I am or experience. Now I am taking a different blocker, a blocker through the original pharmacy that I was going to, to get my moans for free. I don't know why I had to switch, but I'm taking my <laughs> Ludovid. Um, I take her once daily and pairing that with my estrogen tablet that I take twice a day one pill. I feel like I'm getting back on schedule with everything. This is just a part of the journey. I don't feel like or too discouraged about anything just because, you know, the hair would really zoom me in if I couldn't conceal it or if I couldn't finesse it. I did a video with a U-part and you know, people didn't even notice I had cut my hair to like, it's, it was already this length. You know, you know how? Because I had already, I already had color damage from black and using 20 volume developer. I don't really want to talk about it, but not too much on me. My hair was already going through something. So I was already trying to bring her back. And this just added to, yeah, to the, you know, the health of my hair, the fullness of my hair. So I am on a health journey when it comes to my hair, especially, but also to my body. Like I am going to be taking better care of her just because I just have so many things I want to do to her. And I need her to be at her fullest, fullest, fullest potential before I even get there because I'm going to damage this body when this is all I got. It's literally your journey. So I'm not too discouraged about the things that I'm going through because it's my journey. It's my own personal journey. I know the girls have their own stories about things going through, whether it's health conditions or this, why they have to stop taking estrogen or why they have to stop taking HRT for various reasons. So I don't really... You know, power to the girls. I didn't think that this is where I would be at this point in my journey. Just full transparency, it happens to all of the girls. This was just a slight update on the bras. I'll probably be on these moans again, this blocker for probably a month now. I hope you guys can relate to this video. Um, I wasn't really gonna post it because I was feeling a little insecure. I was gonna post a video of me cutting my hair, but that's a little too, that's a little too Wilson Amy for me. <laughs> so, um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be back with more videos.